Don Juan happens to be one of the one of my favorite pieces of of Strauss, and uh, when I suggested it for us to to uh, Keith and 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 Bruce, uh, they said, "Well, uh, let us think about that." And I thought, "Oh, <laughs> they're chicken." <laughs> So uh, they didn't didn't answer for a while, and then I wrote, and I said, listen, I really want to do the Don Juan. And they said, okay. Uh, now you say you thought the orchestra could handle it. What is there to handle exactly? Well, it's extremely, extremely difficult. I mean, for the from the very first notes, uh, you've got uh, seven or eight notes that you've got to play like, you know. <laughs> And and when the kids first got it, they oh, oh Lord! <laughs> <You know? laughs> but they learn it, they learn it, and they they zip right through it, you know. And uh, then the trick is to convince them that uh, not only Don Juan but all music. This is my my bit. Uh, is not a uh, an exercise of just cranking out notes. You know, where the music is blunk, 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 blunk along the way. Where is the music going? You know, where is it going? And how do you get there? And how are we going to get there? And to convince people that it's that kind of experience, you see. If you can persuade them, you know, to, to play this way and not just this way, then, uh, then you've got a, hopefully, a jewel going. I've said so many times when, you know, very sweet people would come backstage after a, after a performance and come by the dressing room and say, oh, Henry, that was lovely. And, of course, well, thanks, uh, you know. But I was disappointed. Uh, would you come back after Don Juan and say that was lovely? Or would you come back and say, wow, you know, it grabs you.